Hi, my name is Yechiel Bressler and I am a therapist for Madragos Midwest. I'd like to talk to you today about getting through this period of time and growing through this period of time while we have our young children at home. Personally, I have two adorable little boys, one who is almost four years old and one who is approximately 18 months old, who are best friends and love to play and love attention and love focus and love being around home, but also can begin to go out of their minds at home a little bit. Right now is nap time, which is why it's during the day and I'm able to be recording this. Between my wife and myself, we have three jobs, and this is also our first time making Pesach. So as you can imagine, things are a little bit hectic here, and I'm sure they are for you as well. And so I wanna to talk to you today about a couple of tips, and I am in no way suggesting that I've made it through, and that I am no how we're going to succeed and how we're going to get through this all together. We don't know how long it's going to be. We don't know how things are going to turn. We're going through this together. But I just wanted to share a couple of points with you that I have found helpful and that I think may be helpful uh, to, to help us grow and take advantage of this time. First aspect that we have to consider is the aspect of dealing with the sanity of our own children family first, our children come first, and so how do we keep them sane and how do we keep them excited and happy within our confines, within the day-to-day -day grind that it feels like right now? So first and foremost, starting with ourselves, the parents, lots and lots and lots of patience. We still need to be warm, loving, caring parents because ultimately that's what matters to them most. And ultimately, that's what's going to keep them sane. If they see that we're happy to be in their presence and we're happy to have them home, as difficult as it is, they will feel that. If they see that we're stressed out and they see that we are overwhelmed and we're not really giving them focus, we're on our phone or we're, on, we're texting and we're working and while we're giving them attention and obviously we all have responsibilities and obviously we have to work during the day and we have to figure out a plan. However, it's crucial that we think about it from their perspective as well and to try to maintain a warm atmosphere of love and giving so that they can feel the same care and sense of safety and security in their home uh, throughout the day. Secondly, within their sanity is having a daily routine. Now I understand this might be a little bit ideal or this might be a little bit not realistic. However, to the best of our abilities to keep them in routine and to keep them having some level of structure. So here is just an example. We, we've put together, really my wife's put together a daily schedule for our son. So you see all the different things. Now you can make it more detailed, less detailed and uh, do as you wish. However, to have some structure so that he knows what's next, what's coming, what, what am I learning? What am I growing? What am I, what am I expecting? So that there is some, it's not just a free for all, that feels like a really long day. So those are the two things in terms of the sanity of our children. But in terms of the sanity of ourselves, having to balance of all of these different aspects, number one is it's insane. It's crazy. We're not used to it. We've never done this before. It's too much, but we don't have a choice. So a couple a couple of things that I've, I've thought of and that I found helpful here. Uh, number one is, is teamwork. Teamwork, and I mean teamwork in two levels. Number one, teamwork between spouses. Teamwork between yourself and your spouse, constant communication, constant understanding that you both have a tremendous amount to do and to try to make time for the other, even though there isn't time for the other. There's not even time for yourself. But to have teamwork and to figure out how are we going to go through it together. And then there's teamwork with the kids. And I don't just mean in terms of the projects you're doing, but I mean in terms of your projects, in terms of your chores. In addition to the work that we all have, we have to take care of a household. We have to get ready for Pesach. So whatever we can do to bring them along. My son, I have found it helpful. He enjoys sometimes helping me fold laundry. So we'll make a game out of it. Find all, whatever it is, find, find, find your shirt. Find 
right? Find your socks, whatever it may be, but to get him along and to be able to, in a fun, exciting manner, continue to get your stuff done while appropriate. Um, another point for our sanity is to not be scared to reach out for help. As everyone likes to say, these are unprecedented times. But what's not unprecedented is raising children and is how to work with them, how to help navigate situations with them, reach out to people who are more experienced than ourselves or even people who are in the same boat as ourselves and just to get ideas or just to vent, to have someone to go to to be able to have the help that we need. Um, so important is finding some time for ourselves, even if it's 15 minutes a day, but to find time for ourselves. And then work it out with your spouse to find a few minutes where you can get away and have some alone time. Included in that and also included in making sure we keep our children sane, this is for everyone, but to take our children outside a little bit. I know we're homebound, obviously, I'm not suggesting that we go somewhere where we're not allowed to go, but to our backyard or even a walk around the block. To do something to get some fresh air, some change of scenery, it has made for us, it has made the world of difference. Try to get out at least once or twice, try to play some soccer with the kids in the backyard, maybe just take a walk by our, right in front of our house, right around the block, something, but they had some fresh air and some change of scenery to mix it up a little bit. And finally, one last point, which is probably the most important thing, which is at the end of the day, Give yourself a pat on the back. What we are doing, what we are trying to do, what we are accomplishing is literally historic. And we're going to slip and we're going to make mistakes, but we're doing great overall. And to give yourself a pat on the back on the end of the day, wow, that was a crazy day. I took care of everything I had to do, or at least some of what I had to do, or a proportion of what I had to do, but to not lose focus of that this is a really tough job and that we're doing our best and at the end of the day make sure it is crucial to give ourselves a pat on the back to keep our spirits high for our own sake as well as for the sake of everyone in our home and our children i wish you best of luck feel free to reach out to myself to madragos to anyone who may be of help and uh, best of luck getting through this together